Before you can get started using your LogStorm evaluation image, you will first need to import it into a virtualization program. Here I'll be using VMware ESX Server to show you how to get up and running in just a few minutes. Aside from the evaluation image you just downloaded, you will also need the VMware vSphere client to import that image. Additionally, we will use an SSH client to import the evaluation license, since we can't cut and paste from the vSphere console. In addition to these tools, make sure you have an IP address on your network available for LogStorm, since we will be inputting that information during the setup process. Okay, let's get started. First, we'll open up our VMware vSphere client. Enter the credentials you normally use to interface with the vSphere GUI. After login is complete, we will click on the File menu and then select Deploy OVF Template. This window will allow us to select the evaluation image from our desktop. After clicking Next, we'll see a few details about the image itself. We can click Next to continue here as well. If you'd like to rename the virtual image, you can do so here, otherwise stick with the defaults and click Next. Select the location on the ESX server where you'd like to store the image files, and then click Next to continue. If you'd like to change how the disk space is provisioned on the ESX server, you can do so at this screen, otherwise click Next again. After reviewing my details, I'm going to select Power On After Deployment and click Finish to begin importing the image. After a couple of minutes, LogStorm will be installed and powered up on your ESX server. After deployment is complete, we can go ahead and open up our LogStorm virtual machine in a VMware console. From here, we'll add our initial setup parameters, such as networking. Log in using htadmin as both the username and password. After hitting enter to proceed, you can use the spacebar to scroll through the Black Stratus agreement. When you are finished, hit enter. Click enter to agree to the terms. Here we will create a new password for the htadmin user. On each of the following screens, use the up and down arrows to move between fields within the window, and then tab to move to the bottom row of buttons. If you'd like LogStorm to encrypt the raw message logs it receives from your security devices, select Yes here. Otherwise, select No. Here we will assign the IP address for LogStorm, as well as give it the additional network parameters necessary to get it up and running on the network. We will also be specifying an SMTP host here, so that LogStorm can send out email notifications on specific alerts that you configure later on. Optionally, you can specify an IP address for an NTP host if you wish to synchronize with a time server. If you need to adjust the time settings on this window, choose Yes, otherwise choose No to continue. You can review your settings one last time before continuing, otherwise click Enter to proceed. LogStorm will now apply the new configuration you've just set up. You may not see any movement on the progress bar for several minutes, but this is normal. Your LogStorm settings have now been applied. The last step of the installation is now to import your license key into LogStorm. Because VMware does not allow copying and pasting from this console window, we will use our SSH client to import the license string. Open up your SSH client and enter the IP address of your new LogStorm evaluation. We will again use the htadmin username, but this time we'll use the new password you just created in your initial setup. LogStorm will ask if you need to make any changes to your configuration before entering your license. If you do, 
say yes, otherwise press N to continue. You will now be prompted to enter your license key. You should have already received your key in an email. Highlight the portion of that email which contains the key string and copy it to your clipboard. Then, use the paste function of your SSH client and press enter to continue. Congratulations! Your LogStorm evaluation image has now been installed. Enter menu option 11 to exit this screen. To test connectivity to LogStorm, open a web browser. You can use the IP address you've just configured using HTTPS to connect to LogStorm. After accepting the SSL security certificate, you should see the web page which will allow you to launch the client. For more information on operating LogStorm after it's been installed, please refer to our Getting Started video, which details where to go from here.